economics has made a lot of advances, but it's also quite impressive about how much of the basic key insights have been there for a while. If we ignore our intellectual history, then we may just be redoing what people did, you know, 15 or 20 years earlier and the like. Part of what we've seen globally, lots of uncertainties attached to economic policies. We're still unsure about certain aspects of the euro going forward. We don't know what the implications are of the new administration will be for international trade. We're not exactly sure how, how Brexit is going to evolve. And I certainly hope that economics has a role in terms of thinking and shaping about policies going forward. I think it's quite clear that, that, that the financial crisis exposed gaps in our, in our modeling of, uh, of the macro economy. Really getting a more fundamental quantitative empirical understanding of it is something that's both tremendously important and something that, would, that I certainly hope will play out over the course of the next decade, you know, decade or so. There's lots of fascination in kind of new data. It may well be that as you know, these new data become available, they'll lead us to think in more structured ways uh, about new classes of economic models well suited to, to answer the important questions, not just kind of short-term prediction, but do it in a way that we can give explicit economic interpretation to it, and do it in a way that we can answer the kind of important substantive economic questions we care about. <laughs>